We have a school lunch program where we help feed 300 children. For the average Canadian, winning a trip to a tropical destination might end in some nice photos, great memories, and maybe even a sunburn. But for Louise Zobel, it proved to be life-changing. I won a trip actually in 2006 with a business I was with. And when we got to the Dominican, I fell in love with it. And we were on a beautiful resort. And so we bought a holiday package there at this resort and we started going back. I think we were there four times before we even got off the resort. And once we did, we saw the needs of the people. We started taking things for the uh, people who work in the resort. Then we expanded to taking things to schools. It is shocking because yeah. the people are so poor. We can walk from this beautiful place to this place where the school was falling down. Zobel continued to return to the Dominican year after year. And in 2012, her family helped build a school and set up a free distribution center. So they're getting clothing and shoes and hygiene things. Every time Zobel went back, she saw more and more need. Actually, when we opened the school, it was the grand opening of the school, a lady came to me and she had a letter that she'd actually paid someone to write, because I think she's illiterate, an old lady that's raising three grandchildren. And she asked if we could help with her house. And that wasn't even on our horizon, building houses. So we went home and uh, our kids actually, for my 60th birthday, they did a fundraiser in my living room. Our kids and grandkids, they had an auction sale. They raised $1,200 that day. And then some of my other children had some fundraisers and our family actually raised the money to build the first house there in, that we did in the Dominican Republic for Mila and it just expanded from there. From Mila and her grandkids to a homeless 17-year-old mother of three. Story after story, the needs seemed never-ending. So Zobel and her family registered a charity called the Starfish Foundation to raise money specifically for the people of the Dominican. Now we have 10 different groups raising money to build someone a home. People raise the $6,500 that's needed to build a home. And then our people down there, we have employees that are very poor, but we have employees that are working construction for us and building their homes. We're having a family fundraiser in Sterling on October the 3rd. And uh, it's from seven till 10 at night. We have a family dance and we have a, a silent auction. We have amazing things for our auction. We have over 80 local businesses that have donated. Uh, basically, Louise came to us and told us about her foundation and asked if we could support her. So what we're going to do is, just like at the dealership when you buy a car right now, uh, you go into the money booth that uh, one of our guys built and we turn the machine on, it blows the money around for 30 seconds and you grab as much of the money as you can and there's $5,000 in there. So, However much they can catch in a half a minute. And so we're excited about that. Our mayor is going to go in and catch some cash for the Dominican. And then we're, we're having a 50-50 draw. If you go in there 50-50 draw, you also are in the same draw to have the chance to go in there and grab as much cash as you can in 30 seconds out of the five grand. So. For more information about the Starfish Foundation fundraiser, visit dominicanstarfish.org or call Louise at 403-756-3491 or 403 403-393-3491. The need there is incredible. So I just have to tell myself, we can make a difference, one family, one life at a time. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Jeanette Roche.